Hey loves, another day, another video to spill all the juicy tea and latest drama on the TikTok community. And I guess none of y'all have seen this day coming, but Charlie D'Amelio and Lil Huddy were just caught kissing yesterday. And the funny part about this is that their friend Noah Beck was also getting canceled at the same time, and Mattia Palibo was busy being threatened by millions of people. TikTokers keep surprising us every day, y'all. Anyways, we have a lot to catch up on in today's video. So without further ado, let's get started ASAP. The fact that Charlie is out here kissing Lil Huddy in the Bahamas while we're all worried about her doesn't sit right with me at all all. This girl just doesn't care. Anyways, I'm not really sure if Charlie is giving us the silent treatment, but I know for a fact that she's pretty much aware of all the hate she's receiving at the moment and how the internet is waiting for her to apologize. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. But of course, she made a decision to act unbothered. However, she might think she can hide while she's spending this entire week at the Bahamas, but a lot of fans were smart enough to find the location of the hotel she's currently staying in with Lil Huddy. And guys, when I tell you that people were acting very weird, I seriously mean it. Because some fans went completely insane and started spying on the Demelios in the hotel to the point where they were posting all the private convos Charlie and Lil Huddy were having there. Check this out. Charlie is in that Cabana and was yelling at Chase to come back to the room and he just tells her to wait 10 minutes because we're playing football. LMAO. I don't care if you think this is adorable. That sh is creepy AF. Anyways, after a lot of fans were creeping on Charlie and many other TikTokers, some of them were lucky enough to get pictures with them. And others were... I don't know how to explain this, but they were spying on Charlie and Lil Huddy because in this TikTok video, you guys, you can clearly see both Chase and Charlie kissing each other in the hotel they were staying in. I know, cha-cha shippers are screaming right now. No matter how you guys view this video, you can't deny that the owner of the video was invading their privacy. In fact, as soon as the video was posted on TikTok, the owner received a lot of comments from thousands of people asking him to take down the video immediately. There's something that's called privacy. This is so disrespectful to the both of them. Give them a break. This is gross, lol. Why don't you respect people's privacy? While many people were upset by how the guy was spying on the D'Amelios and violating their privacy, he suddenly confirmed later on that both Charlie and Chase weren't actually kissing. They did not kiss. This guy doesn't understand how he disappointed millions of fans. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on fans spying on Charlie and Chase? Also, do you think they could be dating? Let me know in the comments down below. Noah, honey? you could have just walked away instead of embarrassing yourself on the internet for not social distancing. Let's say we DM one of them. Like, yo, we want to fly you out to Bahamas. Like, Oh yeah, they're going to they're gonna be down for sure. The tea with these TikTokers breaking COVID rules is still piping hot, you guys. And the truth about this is that none of these TikTokers have taken any accountability for their actions yet. And of course, it had a lot of people assuming that they won't be apologizing anytime soon. But during these days of them being canceled on the internet, Dixie and Noah were still taking tons of pictures with their fans while they were, um, social distancing. Yeah. They clearly thought COVID wouldn't catch them if they stood one foot apart from their fans. But let's not get started on this. Anyways, two weeks after they caused a huge mess in the TikTok community for traveling to the Bahamas, they were finally back in LA yesterday after Noah Beck was spotted by a paparazzi. And of course, Noah was immediately asked about the hate he received for traveling during a pandemic. Here's what he had to say. Let's say we DM one of them. Yeah. We're like, yo, we want to fly you out to Bahamas. Like, oh yeah. They're they're gonna, they're gonna be down for I sure. Like, <laughs> if they say, yeah, it's just not even worth it. Like, yeah, no matter what you do in life, people are gonna say things and stuff. So, uh -huh. I don't know. Shit. Oh, I'll make you shut up. If this wasn't the most self-centered response you've ever heard, well, you probably haven't heard his other response during the video since this guy proved to millions of people how privileged he is in this 20-second clip. Especially, like, in the business that we're in, I think yeah. that it's like, you need, you need some time to kind of disconnect a little, you know? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what that was meant for. It was mm -hmm. just a little trip to get away. Oh to disconnect from his $400 million mansion? Poor Noah.
literally the dumbest person I've ever met. Anyways, as y'all can imagine, the hate towards Noah got real intense after he gave us an awful response and pretended that he wasn't aware of everything that's going on. Here is how people reacted to his actions. Okay, but you have a younger audience and you're literally an influencer. It doesn't matter. Y'all give the wrong people platforms. You wanna disconnect, Noah? Switch your damn phone off. Don't travel mid-pandemic. You literally live in a mansion. You could easily go to a pool. Stop traveling for fun during a deathly pandemic. People are dying and he needs a break from 15 second videos. He literally does not work. His job is thirst traps and obsessing over Dixie, but okay, Noah. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on all the hate Noah received for his response? Do you think it could get worse once Charlie and Dixie respond? Let me know in the comments. Mattia, love, you could have stayed silent this entire time, but you decided to crash and burn your career for fat shaming Nicki Minaj's newborn. What did this man get himself into? So I'm not really sure if the majority of y'all have seen the latest tea on Mattia, but let me give you a quick summary about it. Earlier this week, you guys, Mattia Polibo came out of nowhere and decided to body shame Nicki Minaj's baby after she revealed his face on the internet. And as y'all can guess, he received a lot of backlash for it not only body shaming Nikki's baby, but for also adding more fuel to the fire and not apologizing. This caused all Mattia's personal information to get leaked by Nikki's fandom. In fact, his location address, phone number, and his parents' information got leaked all over the internet, which caused a huge mess on social media. However, you guys, it's been a couple of days since that happened, and it seems that Mattia has actually given up on the war he caused with Nikki's fans. But of course, a lot of people didn't forget, since Nikki Minaj's sister decided to involve herself and attack Mattia for making fun of her sister's newborn. You a clown body shaming a child. You know damn well you probably was a fat baby too. Fat babies are beautiful. You're TF mad because you ain't getting the attention you wish you had. You're mad because you're irrelevant. Like, go do something. Keep talking about my nephew. We find I have more than an issue. Like, TF, stop hating. We get you. Get a child of your own. So you decided to take your anger on someone else. Go shove that jealousy so far where the sun don't shine. As soon as Nikki's sister got involved, the situation came back from the dead real quick as Nikki's own fan base started leaving negative reviews on Mattia's dad's restaurant. And guys, some fans even took the situation to the next level to the point where they made Mattia's own father respond at them with this. We would greatly appreciate if you were honest as these reviews affect the business. Thank you. Not a minute after Nikki's fans decided to beef with Mattia's father, Alejandro Sario and Thomas Petru came real quick and stood up for their friend Mattia and his family by responding to the hate with this. If you don't like Mattia, that's one thing, that's on you, but don't come for his family and their business. It's uncalled for. That's f***. Now, in case you're wondering how Mattia handled this disaster on the internet, well, he went completely insane on his spam account after he found out that people were also coming after his uncle as well. And y'all, here's what he said in a response to the hate. Warning, sensitive words. Do we give a f about Mattia's uncle? Say this to me in real life and I promise you I will hold no remorse. I'm gonna your skull until it's physically impossible to turn any worse to a pulp and no one's gonna stop me charge me with her idc i'm not gonna show mercy when i see someone in real life who says this lol try me when this situation got taken very seriously to the point where fans were planning on attacking matia's uncle the entire tiktok community came into matia's defense in the situation the baby don't know what's going on nikki ain't bothered with y'all so why y'all still going whoa guys leave this damn uncle alone wt this is literally not funny. The barbs really crossed a line this time. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Nikki's fans attacking Mattia's father and uncle? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's juicy recap in the comments down below. I love you so much.